Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Yeah. Yes. As I'm known as TRM, Total Restoration Ministries, located in Ross and D Street and Hamilton, uh, you know, the historical part of Hamilton. <laughs> yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, Bishop Damon uh, White. Amen, the revelator. <laughs> yes, a man of revelation, a humble man, a wonderful man of God, and his lovely wife. Amen. I'm so thankful for her. Amen. Pray for everybody. Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, her church family and her bio family. Amen. And you, stranger, that she don't even know. Say, praying for your welfare. Yeah, for your soul. Yeah, yeah, thank God for you and you and you. We're continuing with our thought, receive and believe. Believe and receive, amen. Christian care, care, communicate, advocate, rejuvenate, educate, amen. Blessed is the reader and doer of God's prophecy. Yeah. Prophecy edifies, exhorts, and comforts God's people. Yeah. Christian care prophecies is designed to help people improve themselves in Christ, mm -hmm, church, and the community. <clears throat> Excuse me. The revelation of Christ elevates Christian standards. Yeah. Christians, cast all your care on Jesus because he cares for you. Mm -hmm. Blessed are your eyes for they see and for your ears for they hear. Amen. Let us exalt the Name of Jesus <laughs> together, yeah, uh, as one. You know, one accord. Like on the day of Pentecost, yeah, in Acts chapter 2. Acts, apostles celebrate total salvation, yes, yes. Have you read the fourth chapter of Ephesians? I should read it aside now. Chapter 4 of Ephesians. I want to read one scripture out of that. Chapter 4. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. My, my, my. My, my. Verse number 13. Chapter 4. Verse number 13. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God. That's all coming. Every color and every sex. Amen. You're not going to heaven. Amen. If you're a hater of a particular color or a particular nation. You are not going, no. no. There's no hatred in heaven, no. That's why the Bible says it's going to few that's going to be saved, right? Only a few. Mm -hmm. And you know if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you're not going. No, you're not qualified. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh, verse number 13, you got it? Ephesians 4.13. Till we all come to the unity of the faith. We're talking about unity of the faith. We won't even church. No, we won't even church together. No, we won't. We're divided by denomination, color, sex, something. Something not on one accord. Not going. No division in heaven. No denominations in heaven. No, no, just holy people. <laughs> Glory. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Mm hmm. Till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God. You got to know who Jesus is. Not only the Son, He's the Father too, and the Spirit. Yeah. The only one. <laughs> Bless His holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, glory. Mm. Till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Yeah. Got to know who he is. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Bless his name. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Now, verse number 14, we're talking about believing and receiving that we should no longer be children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the trickery of men. You know, there's people that's in the tricks. Yes, they are. Yeah. Yeah. Trick or, or treat. Mm -mm. Yeah. Trick or treat. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's all year for some people. They're always up to some kind of trick. Yeah. Yes, they are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every wind of doctrine by the trickery of men in the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting. Mm. Mm. My, my, my. So what are we going to do? Verse number 15, Ephesians 4. But speaking the truth in love may grow up in all things into him who is the head Christ. Christ is the head. Jesus Christ. He's the King of kings. He's the Lord of lords. He is the great I am that I am. We're talking about Jesus. Yes. Yeah. From whom the whole body joined and knit together by what every joint supplies according to the effective working of which every part does its share causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love. Yeah, love. Mm hmm The people don't even speak to each other. No, they don't. Same church. I'm not going down that aisle because I don't want to be going by him and I don't want to say nothing to him. No, I'm not going that way. Uh-uh, no. I'm going the other way. No. As soon as I hear amen, I'm out of here. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. Well, well, well. Verse number 18. Having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their heart, who being past feeling have given themselves over to lewdness, to work all uncleanness with greediness, but you have not so learned Christ, if indeed you have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus, that you put off concerning your former conduct the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful love and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that you put on the new man, which was created according to God, in true righteousness and holiness. Oh, that's right. Verse 25 in Ephesians 4. We're talking about believing and receiving. Therefore, putting away Lion, let each one of you speak truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. My, my, my. 26, be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath. You haven't spoken to him or her 
Oh my goodness, in years. <laughs> You're hellbound. Yes, you are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now give place to the devil. There's trickery right there. The devil. Didn't he uh, trick Eve? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He caused doubt. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Mm-hmm. You got to believe and receive. You got to hear yourself speak in tongues as the Spirit of God gives utterance. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Receive the Holy Spirit of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let him do the talking for you. Yield yourself. Mm-hmm. Hear the word of God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. From a true man or woman of God. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Believe and receive. Yes, sir. In that book of Acts, in that 19th chapter, Mm -hmm. Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? Yes. Yes. Did you? Can you say it? Are you still speaking in tongues? Well, keep on praying. <laughs> yes, keep on praying. It's just something about it. Mm -hmm. yeah, Jimmy Swagger, you know, he got uh, so many wonderful songs. Amen. And uh, we're talking about that sweet, sweet anointing. Ha! Wow! Over it. You can feel it go through your body. Yeah. Mm. Chills and thrills of the Holy Spirit. Mm. My, my, my. What a mighty God we serve. Yeah. Lead and guide you into all truth. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, yeah. He's so wonderful. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You've read that ninth chapter of John about the blind man? Yeah, yeah. Mm. He's really saying something here. Verse 38 of chapter 9 about the blind man going by from, uh, from birth. Really saying something that. In verse 38, then he said, Lord, talking to Jesus, and what does he call it? Lord! <laughs> when you have the Holy Spirit, it's easy for you to call Jesus Lord and know he's the only one. Yeah, yeah, I believe. And what did he do because he believed? And he worshiped him. He worshiped him, yeah, yeah. Jesus said, for judgment I have come into this world, and those who do not see may see, and that those who see may be made blind. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Glory to God! Thank you, Jesus. Hey! Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Don't you want to believe? Then you can receive. Yes, there's something about it. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. My, my, my. Look at here, look at here, look at here. Have you read that uh, in Acts? Yeah, have you read that? Uh, you haven't read the book of Acts? You should read it. Yeah, you should read it. And what you should do when uh, whoever's preaching, whoever's bringing you the word uh, in the church, uh -huh. yeah, you should reverence him. You should check and see where he's getting his information from. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. 
it's something about it. Mm-hmm. Have you read the third chapter of Acts? Yeah. Peter and John went up together to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour. They met a certain lame man there. Have you read that? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. He was uh, asking for arms. Want to see me up here? Yeah. Asking for some arms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And John and Peter said, look on us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he gave them his attention. We're talking about believing and we see. You got to pay attention in church. That's why you don't have the Holy Ghost. Because you got everything else on your mind but the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Have the Holy Ghost on your mind. Lord, come on in. Whatever you say to him. Mm -hmm. You're going to tarry. You're going to wait. You're going to scream. You're going to yell. You're going to... Yeah, you're going to rule on the floor. Whatever you're doing, believe. <clears throat> Excuse me. And receive. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Expecting to receive something from them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Peter and John, they're being transported. <laughs> yes, they are. Being transporting. Yeah. Yeah, there's something about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Peter and John, they fix on him. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they were looking at this lame man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at us. Look at us. He gave attention. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Mm-hmm. Silver and gold I do not have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't have. Mm. But what I do have, I give you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. Yeah. Get up from there. <laughs> Whatever your level in life, get up from there. Receive and believe. Amen. Amen. And he took him by his right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. Jesus is a strength giver. The Holy Ghost in you is a strength giver. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. It's all for you. You can have strength. Believe and receive. So he did what? Verse number eight. He did what? So he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered the temple with them. And what was he doing in the temple? Why, he was walking, leaping, and praising God. Mm, mm, mm. There's something about it, isn't it? Yeah, my brother. My sister, there's something about it. Yes, that is. When you receive and believe, believe and receive. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, walking. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. Then they knew that it was he who sat begging alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. Mm, mm, mm. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. Now, as a lame man who was healed, held on to Peter and John. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. All the people ran together to them in the porch. Held on. Mm-hmm. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. What did they do? Mm-hmm. Mm. All the people ran together to them in the porch, which is called Solomon's, greatly amazed. So when Peter saw it, he responded to the people, Men of Israel, why do you marvel at this? Or why look so intently at us as though by our own power or 
godliness we have made the God of Abraham, talking about Jesus, <clears throat> excuse me, the God of Isaac and Jacob, the God of our father, none other than Jesus. Yeah! Mm -hmm. Glorified his servant, Jesus. Yeah, he's a son and a servant. Yes, he is! <laughs> he's God all by himself, glorified his servant, Jesus whom you delivered up and denied in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. But you denied the which one? The Holy One and the Just. Talking about Jesus. He's the Holy One. He's just. He's the justifier. Yes, he is. He is a redeemer. He is a regeneration. Yes, he's a renewed one. Mm, mm, mm. My, my, my. Mm. Yeah, he's the prince of life. Yes, he is. Mm. Mm. He raised himself from the dead. Yes, he did. Hey, oh. Mm. In his name, 16, in his name, through faith in his name, has made this man strong, whom you see and know. Yes, the faith which comes through him has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. Hey! Glory! Hallelujah! Believe and receive. Mm -hmm. Oh! What a mighty God. Mm. Mm -hmm. He's a wonderful, wonderful Savior. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's all right. What you say about Jesus? He's all right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's father in creation. He's son in redemption. He's Holy Ghost in regeneration. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you say about it, blind man? Mm-hmm. Lord, I believe, yeah. Mm. He was made strong. Sight to the blind. Mm. Hearing to the deaf. Yeah. Oh, my. What a mighty God. He's mighty. Yes, he is. Mm. Mm -mm. Jesus had something to say. He had something to say. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. He said, all whoever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. He's the door. Yes! <laughs> if anyone enters in by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. Hey, something about the church. Let's get in the church. Mm. Let the church say amen. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. We're going on perfection in the church. Yeah. Jesus is a door. He said before you an open door. To speak in tongues as often as you like. As many times as you like. Wherever you are. Amen. You can speak in tongues. It's all right. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Mm. In that 19th chapter of Acts, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he said they were in John's baptism. No other baptism will do, but for real, a baptism that opens a door that's set before you an open door is the baptism in the name of Jesus. Yes, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name. Yes. Mm -hmm. John indeed baptized with a baptism of repentance, saying to the people that they should believe on him who would come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name 
of the Lord Jesus. That's verse 5 in chapter 19 of Acts. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And when Paul had laid hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke with tongues and prophesied. Now the men were about 12 in all. Hey, glory, hallelujah, add it on to the 3,000 <laughs> on the day of Pentecost. Yeah, and were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Something about that name, isn't it? Yeah, that name is powerful. That name has got all power. Mm -hmm. Sickness got to go. Disease got to go. It's in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. And I love uh, Bishop White and one of uh, his favorite scriptures. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hey, glory. There's something about that name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Something about that name. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. Mm, mm, mm. We're talking about the power of the Lord. Talking about his name. My brother, my sister, there's something about that name of Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. There's something about that name, Jesus. Mm. When you take a look uh, at uh, the psalm, Psalm 34, mm -hmm. I will bless the Lord at all times. Easy when you have him on the inside. Mm. His praise shall continually be in my mind. My soul shall make his boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Psalm 34. Amen. Magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me. He's going to hear you because he's on the inside. Yeah, he's everywhere. Yeah, particularly on the inside of you. Deliver me from all my fear. You can be fearless and you can be faithful. Amen. Mm, mm, mm. This poor man cried and what happened? <laughs> and the Lord heard him. He'll hear you. Yes, he will. He'll hear you. Yes. Mm. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him, who trust him, and delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Hey, it's sometime about the Lord on the inside. He's a mighty God. Yes, he is. Bless his wonderful name forever. He's mighty. 